Hello everyone and welcome back to the Hero Spotlight. Today I'm going to introduce the new marksman Thorn, the Silent Dissenter. Thorn is an AD carry hero with amazing abilities. He has a demonic weapon that allows him to use three different bullets to slay his opponents. Each bullet has its own effects and what's more exciting is that you can make different combos. You can load all three stacks with the same bullet or change it up to have different effects each attack. Choosing the right bullet will definitely turn the tides of the fight you're in. His second ability allows him to dash and enhance his next bullet, while his ultimate has a huge area of effect that deals tons of damage. Aside from his amazing abilities, did you know he was a member of the Shadow Hand? Yep, he was captured by Quillen but managed to escape, and now he's out for blood. Do you think he'll be successful? You can find the Comic Lore video link in the description below. Now let's take a look at his abilities. First of all, his passive, Demonic Law. Thorn's abilities aren't affected by cooldown reduction, so no matter how much cooldown reduction you have, your abilities cooldown stay the same. But instead, every 1% cooldown reduction will give him 4 attack damage. This excludes Sage Buff. Because he gets more attack damage in exchange for CD reduction, it's a good idea to build flashy boots which will give him decent attack damage in early game. Moving on to his first ability, Magical Bullets. Thorn reloads his gun with one of three magical bullets and enhances his next normal attack. If he loads one bullet, the normal attacks won't consume his energy. For two bullets, he will consume 20 energy per attack and for three, he will consume 40 energy. Once he loads all three bullets, he will trigger Overload. That increases his movement speed by 25% for 5 seconds. When the energy is low or overload ends, the ability enters cooldown phase. The cooldown depends on the bullet amount. For 2 bullets, the cooldown is 5 seconds and for 3 bullets, it's 10 seconds. When the cooldown ends, Thorn will restore all his energy. Oh, we forgot to mention what do these magical bullets do. Let's take a look at them, shall we? Firstly, Purple Bullet. Thorn deals magical damage equal to 2% of the maximum HP of the target. This damage increases as you use more purple bullets or gain 100 physical damage. Keep it in mind they have no chance of dealing critical damage. Next, Yellow Bullets. These bullets reduce target's movement speed for 1 second. Target speed is reduced the more bullets you use and this amount also increases for every level gained. The slow effect stacks up to 3 times. And lastly, Blue Bullet. This bullet reduces cooldown of Thorn's second and third abilities, and as you use more blue bullets, the reduction will be higher. This amount will increase for each level gained. Time for his second ability, Shoot a Possession. Thorn dashes in the target direction, enhancing his next magical bullet attack within 3 seconds. The effects of the bullets are changed and consume no energy. Purple bullet now deals true damage, yellow stuns the enemy, and blue triggers a massive explosion. This ability also has a passive that increases critical hit rate by 10%. And finally, his ultimate, Fatal Attack. Thorn uses demonic energies to accumulate energy, dealing physical damage to the enemies in range of the huge rectangle after one second. Enemies in the middle of the area will take double damage. You see how huge the range is, right? That is why it's super useful in team fights to hit enemies from afar. No matter the range, don't forget that the middle area deals twice the damage, so aiming it correctly is key to victory. When you're playing as Thorn, don't be too aggressive until you have your core items, because he's kinda weak in the early game, so focusing on your farm will be much better as he gets much more powerful as he gets the mid to late game. There's a tricky part here when it comes to choosing your boots. You can either go flashy boots to have higher attack damage or gilded greaves to have resistance against crowd control. Both of these are situational, so choose your treads wisely. As you know, his first ability has three different bullets. You can either chain them as you want or just go for one type. In different situations, you should reload your bullets accordingly. Choosing the wrong one may lead you to die, losing the team fight or even letting the enemy go. We recommend using purple bullets early game as they deal additional magical damage. It'll help you clear in your jungle or lane as well as poking squishy heroes with magical damage. With Thorn's second ability, Shooter Possession, it is only movement ability. With it you can escape from the enemy or chase and enhance your next bullet. Using it when you don't need to might put you in a tricky situation as you won't have mobility for a while. Also, the bullet effects can be mixed. For example, if you combine yellow bullet with blue and use your second ability, 
you'll deal an AoE stun with your next attack. Thorn's ultimate has a huge area so it's good to snipe enemies from afar or just deal massive damage in teamfights. No matter its size, the middle of the area deals twice the damage so you gotta aim it well to deal even more damage. This is the end of the spotlight for Thorn, you can see our build recommendation for him right now. Thorn the Silent Dissenter is coming very soon with the next Valor Pass. Also, don't forget to check out his comment lore video, you can find the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any feedback, drop a comment and we'll see you next time.